Sama Vivar in Spiritual Pegatory. Moth number 11. I hope no more come in here. You know, they've been coming in because it's cold outside. They like to come in when it's cold outside. So, this video is inspired by Sierra the Seeger. Shout out to you, Sierra, for telling people the power. Oh, I'm going to get. Ooh, 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 hold on. Let me see. Let me see you come back over here. Oh, there you are. I got him, but I don't think that he's dead. Anyway, shout out to Sierra for inspiring women the power of declaring and decreeing. There's so much power in the tongue. The tongue is a two edged sword. Careful how you use it or abuse it. This may sound off subject, but it really all ties in together. For those that have been married and strayed from their marriage, whether it's male or female, if you left your partner to tie yourself to another partner, you have picked up the karma of your mistress or your mate, and you will pay. You will pay for it. I don't care how conscious, how evolved you think you are. You cannot escape universal law. There's a law of compensation. Good, bad, right, wrong, or indifferent. The law of weeping and sowing. Karma, the law of karma. Those are three laws that are an effect on that ass. You don't want a cosmic ass with it. You think because it hasn't happened yet that it's not going to happen to you, but it will. You don't toy around. You don't play with people's hearts. You don't break up families, whether it's a already made family, a blended family, or a family that was built from the very foundation. You don't mess with that threefold cord. You don't. You know, there is a difference between declaring and proclaiming. Yeah. When you declare, you speak it, and it's more personal. When you proclaim it, it's more empathetic, it's more broad, it's more public. It's like matter of fact, like this is it. Strong conviction. Nothing against what Sierra said, okay? But I'm giving you high occult knowledge because that's my position. I'm your spiritual plug. Okay, those that know me know I do not disappoint. I eat every time I come to you and I broadcast, whether it's TikTok, YouTube, or my Instagram channel. I'm not on Facebook. I don't even fuck with Facebook like that. Okay. <sighs> For more reasons than one. Jesus said a prophet is not recognized in his own village. Facebook is my village, my old village. I'm in a new village now. I'm in a whole nother state. But I will leave the definition for uh, declare and proclaim. Both are very powerful. One is more powerful than the other. I proclaim I'm a multi-billionaire. I proclaim I'm happy, I'm whole, I'm complete. And I completely love myself. And the love that I give to myself attracts others. I decided to come on um, after I did a, a self-care facial. I did a facial mask. And I look like 10 years younger. 
this self-love thing is paying off. You know what I'm saying? I have gotten guidance from my spiritual team to pour more into myself because I've been given more to others than myself. That's a no-no. I don't know who needs to hear this message, but whoever strayed away from their husband or their wife, even after now being divorced, separated, it doesn't matter. Take your ass home. Go home. Because what's leaving you away from the person that you truly love is your motherfucking ego. And your ego is not your amigo. You are suffering in silence. You're in a toxic ass motherfucking relationship doing the same shit over and over again with the same ass patterns that's worse than the relationship and marriage that you ran from. But you hiding behind this relationship because you don't want to do the work. Sir, ma'am, do the work. The very work that you're avoiding is your liberation. Not only from this stale-made-ass motherfucking relationship that you got yourself entangled into, but your career. You don't like doing what the fuck you doing. You just doing this to get by. To get by to the get by. And you ain't even getting by. How about your ass is being left high and dry? Why you think you smarter than God? Why you think you're outsmarted God? Why you think you don't have to go home? Because if you go home, then you'll have to admit that you did something wrong because your ass is guilty. Fuck your guilt. Like my son told my daughter today, Don't put yourself in spiritual purgatory because God didn't create purgatory. Humans did. And that is your hell. That came from my 13-year-old son tonight. God bless you all. Yes. May the higher power be with you and guide you on this beautiful ass journey. Y'all, y'all think y'all know me? Y'all haven't seen the half. I'm about to take flight. I'm about to be bigger than a household name, baby. Because God has truly blessed me. I won't speak. Prematurely, because I got some haters. Haters are going to hate. Trust me. You cannot knock the anointed. You can't throw stones at the anointed without those stones coming back to you. I have a strong, powerful, ancestral, and spiritual team. I've been here many moons, baby. This ain't my first walk in life. I'm a pioneer at this. I'm a creatrix. Look it up. I don't mind. I don't hide who I am anymore because I know who I am. Sierra inspired me tonight. I know who I am. I declare over my life what I want, and it happens. And people around me get jealous, but that's not my motherfucking problem. Sayonara, signing off.